And oh my gosh, I got a DM from Morgan. He's trolling me. Show me what you got. Oh, geez. Okay, you can backflip. Oh, geez, she's really good. <gasps> and it's time to prom. <gasps> Let's do it. <gasps> and here we go. My first ever prom. Okay, welcome back to some more high school shenanigans. Look at the pretty colors in the water, by the way. Like last episode, you kind of saw some of my frustrations with the new pack, which I still have. Actually, I tweeted out a bunch of comparisons between the trailer. <laughs> Oh my gosh, why am I so coffee all the time? Between the trailer and the actual full release of the school. And I know they put the excuse in of saying, you know, oh, we left the school for you guys to decorate, but I don't really buy that. I don't think you should advertise that it looks a certain way and then release it and it not look that way. And you'd be like, oh, it's for you guys to decorate. I don't know. That really just does not sit very well with me. I do have my issues with this pack. However, I still want to try and make the best of it and at least provide some interesting and fun videos for you guys. So we did start things off last time. We decorated our house with things from the new pack. I actually do like build buy stuff from this pack quite a lot. So I think we've got a really cute looking like apartment or little house sheen for now. We also had our first few days at high school. We're going into the weekend. So um, there'll be no high school tomorrow, but we met a bunch of people at school. And now I kind of want to CC everybody up because I just think they look weird when they're not CC'd up. But at the same time, what if they're not in my next class or like they suddenly age up? Like, I don't, I don't know. So I'm kind of worried about that. But we met, have I got like a classmates thing? I've got clubs, coworkers. No, that would be kind of useful, right? Cole is our friend from primary school. Clem is in our class. Jacqueline we met on the pier. Asia's in our class. Yui is in our class and we hate her. She's mean. She's a nightmare. Rita is our teacher, I believe. Sydney is in our class too. Morgan is in our class as well. Morgan, we kind of like apparently have a crush on. So we were kind of thinking of maybe inviting him to prom. He's on the cheer team with us. But now you perceive him as very unattractive. I swear last time it was attractive. Now she's just like, nah, not interested. Something he did gave her the ick really bad. And then Micah. So Micah is an interesting one. He is classed as her rival, but she finds him really hot but they don't like each other. So there is potential there for a bit of like a lovers to enemies kind of thing going on. While everyone is sleeping, I thought I, oh, I think David she met as well. Yeah, David we met too. But she also finds hot and is in her cheer team. So I think what I'll do is I'll CC them up now whilst these guys are sleeping. So let's just start with David. He is our cheer team person and his kind of defining characteristic from what I'm seeing is that he wears an orange berry. So I kind of kept this little heart. This is what he looked like with a little bit of CC on as well. Interestingly enough, his brother is a blonde alien. In case you were interested. <laughs> then we've got Morgan, who we have a crush on despite the fact that he's very unattractive, apparently. So here's Morgan. I don't think he's very unattractive. I think he's quite cute. So I decided just to give him really mishmash like dress sense instead. And that's why she finds him unattractive. Also, he comes from a family with loads of children, in case you were interested again. Okay, let's move on to good old Micah. He's kind of, oh, what is this rig out? Maybe we'll keep the trouser as a theme. I don't know. Okay, I can see why she likes him. He has like the chattiest jawline I've ever seen. Also a really interesting nose shape. I love his nose. Okay, and I don't know what the rival team is supposed to be on is because I was going to do him like a football player. Why would footballers and cheer team be rivals? Surely they're actually like, you know, in cahoots. It didn't really make any sense to me. So I didn't really know how to dress him. Maybe I should do a red version of this because he was wearing red before, wasn't he? So let's do that. This is from the new park. Oh, geez, that's a lot of red. Because then I noticed all these little cute school uniforms. And in the UK, like wearing a school uniform is like a big thing. Most schools do it. So I was like, oh man, I really regret not putting him in a little uniform now. But I would have had to do it with everyone and I just can't be bothered. So it takes me so long to load in and out of cast. Like you guys don't even understand. It takes like 12 years. So he's got a little brother called Gustavo. He's a joke star who's into a joke star who's in a dog lover and a child of the ocean. So he kind of has surfery vibes to me. But yeah. That is Micah. I love playing for 45 minutes and not actually playing a single minute of the game. So we've got David, Morgan and Micah, Noah. You do kind of have a crush on Noah. Okay, maybe we'll do Noah as well. Oh, Noah has a crush on you. You think he's funny, but he's crushing on you. It's a bit of an unrequited love going on. Why did EA do the eyebrows like that? I just... I can't. I'm gonna keep his brows thick, but just like work on the shape a little bit. He also has like Disney-esque style pupils. Why are his pupils so big? I don't have any hair that's like a good, like version of like curly tied back in a bun, I don't think. So I'm just gonna give him like free curly hair instead. I just changed out his shoes because of the horrific EA ones, but his outfit's actually from the new park. So I'm gonna keep that. He is a chief of mischief, who's a party animal and a goofball. Okay, these two have CZ hair, so I will allow them to stay as they are because 
they kind of look like they fit anyway. Jacqueline, I kind of like she's kind of cute. Maybe I'll just switch up her hair real quick. Yeah, look, see, I told you she was cute. She's just like suffering from the classic EA no chin. Why? Why do they do this all the time? I get it, not everyone has a strong chin, but not everyone doesn't either. Like everyone in Sims World has no chin every single time. Okay, so here's how she looks with a bit of CC on. I tried to give her black eyes, but it's kind of given her blue eyes. So I might just go dark brown. Yeah, cause like this is black, but to me it looks, it's, it's very blue. So let's do this instead. Maybe this? No, nah, still the same. Let's do that. Okay, final one. <laughs> I can't believe it's been a full hour. Final one I'm gonna do real quickly is Cole, our childhood buddy. Okay, so here is Cole. I gave Cole the gold skin. I also really like Cole's nose as well. All of my random townies like that just exist that I didn't make have just been like spawned by the game and EA didn't make. A lot of them have ended up with really nice noses. I genuinely don't know where it's come from, but I really like it. I don't know if they're like breeding with my like cousins, cousins, cousins sims and therefore getting noses that are like made and stuff because you know, this is a really old save file. So I'm actually surprised that everyone looks as good as they do. I also gave him dark clothes because he's so pale that I thought it kind of made him stand out. The weird thing is he has no information. Like nothing here and nothing here. I don't really know what that's all about, but he was cool. Okay. And I'm just gonna, <laughs> just gonna go in one final time because even though we've only been here a few days in like our world to us, <laughs> to Sims that's years. So I'm going to do a little update, especially now we're joining the cheer team. So I still like her main, like going to school look as well. Also, I don't know Opal's height because I accidentally made her really tall for grabbing a thumbnail and then she aged up. So what I will do is each episode, like she grows a little bit as well. So here's how she's looking at the moment. She's got the puberty thing going on at the moment. So you can see that in her skin. And I like that. I think it looks like very... It looks very realistic. I like that a lot. She's on the cheer team. I always liked her with like little piggies. Is there like another version of this hairstyle I could try? Maybe the two behind the back like that. And her hair's grown a little bit over the last few years. And that's a lot of growth for a few years, but you know what I mean? Also, I'm gonna, for the first time, put a little bit of makeup on her as well. Cause you know, she's starting to have crushes. She's getting older and teen time is when you experiment and try this kind of thing out. So I'm thinking like some little glittery makeup would look cute. And I think it's kind of cute that actually sometimes when you put heavy, uh, eye makeup on teen sims instead of making them look older it just makes them look younger like i don't know i don't know why but it does because maybe it's because it's like glittery eye makeup which tends to be more used by younger people okay so yeah i still think she looks very teeny but she's just trying a new look out i'm gonna keep this look for her like day to day but she's a cheerleader now so for her second look wait is this a cheerleading outfit please don't tell me that's a cheerleading outfit i think it is Okay, I've gone for quite a different look, but I feel like your teenage years are all about this, like trying out new looks and stuff. So we've gone very like pastel-y, purple-y, skirt-y, but it's, it's because we're on cheer team. I need to get her to practice her cheering actually, don't I? I like those color better. Okay, nice. Okay, now you guys can go to bed ready for tomorrow. <laughs> They've been like, I've been going back and forth from the house, like, hello, goodbye, hello, goodbye. Yui didn't get a makeover, but she doesn't deserve one. Sydney also didn't get a makeover. Maybe I'll do that next time. I just, I just don't want to spend any more time because I've been cast too much. Oh, and you're cringe. <gasps> You've woken up to cringe. Oh my gosh, the worst way to wake up. What has happened? What cringe has happened? Nothing's happened in 15 days. Sydney's happy that we're a friend. Val's checking in on us. But these are 15... How are these 15 days ago? That doesn't feel right. That feels like a dating error. Opal, this tag is poking me. The music is loud. These shoes are pinching my feet. I regret coming to prom. It's that bad. Well, I purposely didn't do prom because it felt stupid doing prom and exams after one day of school. So I was quite happy to go to my other, like... Oh, I forgot these two had a pillow fight together. I went to my other series for that because otherwise it would have just been stupid. Now I'm like, oh no. She did go to prom just without me. Now she's having a tantrum. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know teenagers could have tantrums. She's having a cringe tantrum. The cringe is just taking over her. And she's like, right, I need some cheese crackers right now. I need some cheese crackers. I need to eat away the cringe, which I can relate to and I totally get. So yeah, eat away the cringe, my love. Is it like, do I need to give her medicine? Is, do I need to give her some anti-cringe medicine? I don't know. She wants to chat with her crush, even though she finds him super unattractive. <laughs> I don't know how to make her get over a crush. I don't even know if you can. And where is my little cheer mat? I thought it said it added a cheer mat to my inventory. So I could like practice doing my cheers. Oh, here it is. Okay. Not much room for it in the house. You're not gonna be able to practice it in your room. That's for sure. Am I gonna have to practice outside? Oh my gosh, the cringe continues. Actually gonna be a full cringe lord this episode. Somebody bought that ugly outfit that I bought. Akira. 
Akira bought that ugly outfit that I bought last time and I actually made $10 on it, so businesswoman. Oh, and you must have woken up to cringe as well because you've got cheese crackers too. You're tense from watching having an emotional meltdown. Watching the, her as a teenager have a meltdown, she's like, oh gosh, teenagers are hard. Teenagers are definitely very, very hard. Well, you kind of wanted a kid. I don't know if you expected it to be a kid sister though. I do still need to find love with Iris in the meantime. Like I haven't forgotten about her. I do really want her to meet somebody, but just nobody's caught her eye. Oh, yeah. You guys gave me some other tips as well. So thank you so much for that. One thing you said is check on MCC. How many people I allow on lots so that we can try and make the school feel a bit more full. So my minimum, oh, sorry, maximum Simpson zone is already set to 50. The default is 20, which is why things feel so empty. But I actually said it's 50. So I don't know why the school was so quiet. You also said if I set my house to a teen neighborhood, because I don't need to do a loading screen to get to the fair, the like little fair on the docks then I should encourage more teenagers to hang out there. So we'll give that a go. I also do plan on replacing the school. I wanted to give the EA school a try, but everything was so far apart. It was so big and vast, but also so dead and empty that I will be looking at some schools in the gallery. You guys gave me some good suggestions, including Little Simsies, uh, Sim Lissies, and James Turner from one of the Sims Pie. So I will check all of those out and we will definitely update the school. And she's also, look, awkward turtle. She's finding it hard to get on with teenagers. Teenagers are hard. Why don't you try and help her with her homework a little bit because i don't think opal spent that much time like oh you can also support her on her acne well that's nice also yeah help her on her homework because i don't think she spent that much time caring about studying so far in fact, she didn't even have a books half the time, did she? Won't bring me down from puberty support. Opal is feeling totally confident about their hair. The support from others is totally reassuring for feeling fabulous. Wait, weren't you worried about your skin? Where did the hair comment come from? Her hair looks great. Okay, <laughs> that seemed to not work, but oh well. And after I finish my homework, I will be heading down to the docks to see if any teen... Oh, oh ex-girlfriend's calling. Ex-girlfriend's moving on and kind of getting our blessing from it. Okay, if ex-girlfriend's moving on, then I need to move on. Let's face it. I'm gonna check out the Cinder chat room. See if there's anyone on there that's like interested in chatting, you know? Vlad has no name and Katty is in this save. Interesting. Okay, so we're looking for ladies looking for love. I feel like it's so hard to guess ages. I feel like che has got a nice face. Let's like chat with her and then see if it tells us if she's single or not. She's not. What is she doing on the Cinder chat room? <gasps> and oh my gosh, I got a DM from Morgan. Wouldn't it be just so terrible if you happen to find some sabotage objects in your future? Oh my gosh, he's literally, he's trolling me. He's, oh, I have to reply. He's actually just fallen. Wait, that's Morgan. Wait a minute. That's not, I thought it was Micah, but it's Morgan. Morgan, why are you sabotaging my objects? Please don't do that. That's horrible. I'm going to be mean back to you. Not even a cow plant wants to be around you, Morgan. Why is everything 15 days ago? Why am I living in the past? What in the back to future is happening? Is like Morgan doing the whole negging thing where he's like, oh, look, all your objects are broken. I guess you need a strong man to come and help you fix them. The ladies in this household can fix objects. Like we don't need that. Don't even, wow, don't even try that. And it's a hot but cloudy muggy day, which I'm kind of hating. However, I want to practice doing some cheers. Okay, get your pom-poms out. Don't know what this rig out you've changed into is, but let's have a look at your little cheers. Okay, we got red pom-poms. And show me your, show me what you got. Oh, geez. Okay, you can backflip. I did what? Oh, geez, she's really good. Wow, you must have been practicing while I've. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, babes, it's fine. You were dizzy. You were spinning around a lot. You did the hard ones. That's the main thing. Oh my gosh, I could be head cheerleader. Oh, no, come on. You've got this. Get it together. We can be head cheerleader. We'll go full Mean Girls. You can be Regina. You can do it. I know you can. I can't believe she can backflip. Why does Sims make it look like backflipping is that easy? Because. Too much spirit. Enthusiasm and dedication can only get Opal so far. Reaching the pinnacle of fitness will help avoid these slip ups in future. Oh, my fitness skill isn't high enough. My fitness skill's only level four, but doing this increases fitness. So I'll leave her to do that for a few hours. We're pretending we're working, but we're actually just chatting up some ladies. This is Chaya. Chaya's an adult, the same age as me. I like her cute little red hair and her kind face. Have you got any strings? Like, what's going on? I don't know. The red hair is making her think about her little sister, Val. Why don't we send her a little, little message checking on her? Okay, she's getting a good feeling about Chaya, which I love. 
Oh, you guys are talking on the phone. Oh my gosh, could not be me. Could not be me. Once you finish doing your cheers, I'm going to send her down to the docks for some lunch. And we'll see who's hanging around. <gasps> Look, our friendo, what's he called? Sydney is here. That's good enough excuse for me to head there. <gasps> and as soon as I get here, he wants me to come watch a funny video. Am I popular? Am I actually popular in this game? Is this me reliving high school? But I'm popular and cool and a cheerleader and people want to be my friend. And I've got like rivals and love interests and crushes. Oh, Oh my gosh. I still need to be doing this, by the way. I need to mess around in the cuddle carts. Oh my gosh, am I actually having a little flirt with Sydney now too? Look at us. Maybe we're just good friendos. I don't know. <gasps> Cole is here as well. Okay, let's hang out. Let's do some hangouts. Okay, since I know Noah's crushing on me right now, and um, Morgan's kind of hazing me, which I'm not digging. Oh, we're having a little get together before prom. Want to join? Who are you? I am so freaking popular. Oh my gosh. Uh, can I bring some people with me? Oh, pick some teenagers. Oh my gosh. What is this? I, wait, prom's tonight? How have I messed this up? I didn't want to go to prom tonight. <laughs> am I going to prom? Apparently I am. I'm going to get all the gang. I'm not going to invite Micah because that would just be really weird and awkward and bait. Also, Yui, you don't get to come. I don't even have a prom dress. I know I was going to prom. This is not what I was expecting. I don't know who this, who this girl's house is, but I've just invited like 12,000 people here. <laughs> Is she like in cheer squad? How do I know her? Am I just getting invited places now? Because I'm like the new kid that's like everyone wants to be friends with. Wait, this is the main house. Has this teen actually like just full on got her own house spoil? Are you, is this literally your house? <gasps> you have a house, your own little house outside the main house. Oh my gosh, that's actually so cool. Savannah, hello. I do not think we know each other well enough. Oh, look, Asia's on my uh, my cheerleading team as well. Asia with them hips. Oh, I'm actually way better than you. Yeah, I'm definitely way better than you. Okay, I think I have head cheerleader potential. Okay, I'm going to show off by boasting about all this messing around that I actually have done none of <laughs> whatsoever. It's all a lie. I find her a little bit immature, but she thinks I'm funny. She's my neighbor. I don't think she's in any of the teams at all, but her family are definitely rich and she has a really cool bedroom. So that's enough for me. And I literally have asked, I didn't I didn't expect to go to prom today. This is way too soon for prom. This can be like my pre-prom, but I feel like my proper prom will be next week when I've actually planned for it. And who the hell am I going to bring to prom? Can I ask someone just as mates to go to prom? Maybe that's what I'll do. Wait, everyone's leaving. Oh my gosh, everyone's leaving. Cole, 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 my childhood friend. Where's he gone? Oh, he's not left yet. Cole, please stay where you are. Ask to prom as friends. Yes, okay. Let's it's just like, oh, he's feeling tense as well. Maybe he's a bit stressed about the prom. I fully didn't expect to be going to prom today. I definitely didn't expect to have to like ask somebody and stuff. My proper prom's next Saturday. This is just like a freshers prom. It's like you've just started to use a high school party. That's what I'm going to describe it as. And since Cole's like my oldest friend, I'm going to be like, oh, <gasps> Opal just stopped what they were doing and start and found themselves staring at Cole. Okay, the good thing is, sure, I'll guess I'll go to prom with you. We're going to prom together as friends. Oh, this is, she has the messiest love life. I actually love her. So this is her childhood friend that she grew up as just mates for about. And then suddenly finds him, that's the most attractive. Suddenly finds him the most attractive sim in the whole room. Even if he is looking a little bit stressed right now. Here is the person that she has a crush on. But now she finds him super unattractive because he's basically started nagging her. And then here is the person that has... Oh, where's he gone? There, Noah. Noah is the person that has a crush on her. But she doesn't have a crush on him. David's hot, but we're not really interested in him. And then there's Micah, who we have... A crush on, less so, maybe now that we've seen Cole, but he's our rival. So we've got crush, unrequited love, outwards, unrequited love, inwards, enemies to lovers, childhood friend who you're suddenly seeing differently, and the guy that negs you. Five, five potential love interests here. Oh my gosh. When does prom start? How do I go to prom? I don't understand how to go. Everyone was leaving. What time does it start? It's not in my calendar. If it's not in my calendar, how do I know what's happening? Like, look, prom's not there. What time does prom start? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to Google it and panic him. Oh, it starts at 7 p.m. Okay, I have time to at least put a prom dress together. Let me do that real quick. I kind of feel like purple is my color right now. Yeah, you can't go dress like this. Jeez. This is like career day, <laughs> not prom. But also it's our first prom. We don't really want to be like, we don't want to stand out too much. We're kind of a fly on the wall at this one. A wallflower, not a fly on the wall. <laughs> yeah, we're just going with a friend. There's no like romantic like angle that we've got here. I was wondering if literally she would just like borrow one of her mum's old dresses, but it's messing with her foot. So I might just play it kind of safe. 
And oh my gosh, I've just realized she kind of looks like Cara Delevingne. I've never spotted that about her before, but she sort of does, right? I just put her regular hair down. We'll nab some of Iris's lipstick. Let's pop some little clips in and ooh, a necklace. Okay, I kind of feel like we're good to go. It's very slapdash thrown together, but I didn't expect to find myself in this situation, guys. Oh, we're asking you about Woo Woo. Trust us to like ask a friend and then <laughs> turns out it's actually now, oh, he's off for a jog. It's actually now awkward because I've got a massive, big, huge crush on him. She finds him heart stopping. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, some of us are hanging out at the harbor tonight. You want in? Oh, we're going to prom, aren't we? This is inappropriate, please stop. No, I stink and I want to look nice and fresh before I go to prom. You will not stop me from showering. In fact, oh my gosh, she's going to come in. No. Oh, how did she open the door that fast? I was literally just about to lock it so she couldn't stop me. But though some other people were ditching prom. I wish I'd have known that because I would have just gone up for that option. This is the problem with high school. You get dragged in and swayed along by what the crowd is doing. And yeah, by the time you stop me, I've basically showered. So well done. <gasps> and it's time to prom. <gasps> Let's do it. <gasps> And here we go. My first ever prom in The Sims. Wait, did I do proms? I've done proms with mods in the past, haven't I? But my first ever proper prom. I'm outside here just trying to get it together. Like, you've got this. You've got this, babes. I thought I was going with Cole. Where is he? Oh, he's already here. Okay, he's here having a little dance. Music's kind of... I thought we'd turn up together since there was the whole thing. I'm just giving him a little hug. About, you know, going to prom together, but I guess not. Oh my god, Winston. Where have you been? Hello. And then who's this as well? This is good. I can meet all the other teens. Ted as well. Where is like my gang? Okay, Asia's here. She's decided to dress colonial for some reason. I'm kind of feeling overdressed. This is awkward. This is so awkward. I feel really overdressed. I'm going to just scope the surroundings, see who else she's finding kind of hot. Okay, let me just do a hot pause. So she finds Ted hot. This is Ted. Ted is hot. David is hot. Oh, David, you usually have a beret on. You swapped it for some glasses. Okay. She finds Winston hot. Honestly, Winston caught my eye as soon as we walked in as well. Agree. And uh, obviously Cole. Where is the gang? Where is all my friendos are? I don't get it. What is this? <gasps> Vote for prom royalty. Oh my gosh. Can I vote for myself? <laughs> I want to vote for me. Can I convince people to vote for me? I'm going to vote for Cole. Imagine I vote for Cole. Cole gets prom king and then everyone's interested in my childhood best friend. And he's just like loving all this. Oh my God, these stupid balloons. Wow. Loving all the attention and like doesn't even think anything of like his childhood friend anymore. That would be super awkward. Okay, I'm going to confess that I have a crush. See if he knows it's him. Oh! <gasps> I could reveal crush as well, but we've only just started it this evening. Why don't we see, like, just see if he's, you know, with everyone else or whatever. I also will do a sweetheart dance with him. Where's my other love interest at? This prom does not have as many people as I was expecting. We're definitely not close enough for me to share my preferences with you. Wait, what? We've been friends since childhood. Oh my gosh, it's already going to his head. And oh my gosh, look at them dancing. It's so cute. Oh, are we gonna... Where's he going? Why are you dancing like that? Oh my gosh, don't do that. That's horrible. Okay, we tried the sweetheart dance, but apparently we were really far apart from it. The prom feels short. How long does it last until? It's only got an hour and a half. Why is it so short? Why did they not start at like 5 p.m. so you actually have time to do everything? I've not had time to do any... Look at all this food. I've not had a chance to eat a single thing. But it's not in my calendar, so I can't edit it. I think we're all like listening to the chaperone now, but like... She's freaking out. She's way too scared to talk. Okay, she's going. She's going. Are we going to find, like, will anyone have voted for me? I am popular. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. Okay, prom. Oh my gosh. I got prom royalty. Oh my gosh. What? How? I'm prom royalty. What the hell? And Winston is the jester. Winston might be getting CC'd up, guys. I'm actually in shock. I can't believe that's happened. I am popular. I never thought that this day would come, but I am fully popular. This is wild. I voted for him as well. Oh my gosh. Now I get to like wear this crown and everyone's like cheering for me. I'm popular. I'm a cheerleader. And I'm... I don't understand how this has all happened in one school day. I thought I didn't make an impression at all, but apparently I did. Maybe it's because I graffitied the wall the board. I don't know. I went down an absolute treat. Royalty for the night. Is there a photo booth here? Yeah. Oh my gosh, let's get a picture together. I kind of also want to introduce myself to Winston, just to keep my options even more open. High school's all about like a million crushes, isn't it? Oh wait, I thought we'd take it against the board. Are we not doing that? Okay. Oh my gosh, look, oh my gosh, look at us. What in the fashion week is this? 
Oh my gosh, why is it half of my face? Look at all of this and I can't even like move around to be able to see it. What is happening? Oh my gosh. Oh, hello. Oh, I love these new pictures. Hello. Oh, these are so good. There's some good new poses in there. Oh, you're not prom king, such for you. Oh, there's not prom king, it's just prom royalty. It's just one. So you can't be prom like king and queen or queen and queen or whatever together. Let's go take a photo. Right, I'm gonna introduce myself to the prom jester. And just be like, oh my gosh, we should totally get a photo together because we both won. How crazy is that, Winston? He's also a jester, so I'm going to do a funny introduction. Yes, I've got a photo in the booth. Nice. <gasps> Wait, no, don't leave. Don't leave. Don't you dare leave, Winston. Get in here right now. Why is the prom so freaking short? I'm actually so angry. <gasps> There's an after party. I want to get this selfie with him. But I want to go. I want to be cool and go. Oh, maybe I can get a photo with him there. But I never introduced myself. I, like, I can't go because I didn't get a chance to introduce myself to him. And we might never see him again with the way this game works. So if I get an opportunity to say hello, I have to. What's happening? What's happening now? No, wait, let me just say hello to my jester boy. Winston! Why are we building a lot? I don't understand. I'm just so confused. Oh, oh, they kicked, they kicked us out. They fully just kicked us out. Oh my gosh. However, people love us. They love us. We're so popular. Oh my gosh. If the prom queen and the jester dated, I don't know. I can't. Oh my God. This guy went hard. I don't think the school will be able to handle that. This could be a great way to get really popular, you know? Oh, Cole's just dipped. <gasps> Wowee. That sim is irresistible. Opal has a major crush on Winston. Okay, this is kind of good because like Cole is the one that we find the most attractive, but he's our childhood friend. Like we could end up ruining a whole friendship together. We just went as friends. Whereas Winston, like he he thinks we're so funny and he's like really popular at school as a joker and i have a crush on him this could be a better angle this could be a better angle at least for now i also just realized i made a complaint about her parents and kind of awkward you're complaining about the dead if you do that declare love publicly oh my gosh don't do that okay we'll get some photos like us two just to remember like how we oh my gosh why is she so hot i don't know but just to like remember how oh these are all the same pictures you can't we both like totally owned the prom and how you're going to get CC'd up next time. And then, oh my gosh, look at this. I feel like this could be a really good way for us to become very, very popular. And then I really wanted to come and like complete my final dry llama thing, which is mess around in the cuddle carts. Which I think of these, I can't get him to go on. Like, why does that have to be so buggy? I just want to mess around in the cuddle carts. But she's just like Zim Zay. Willay! And I'm like, why can't I just mess around the cuddle parts? I don't know. I don't know. So instead, I'm oh my gosh, who's he pillow fighting with? I'm gonna post about the prom. And also crown or no crown, you literally got the crown. I'm gonna post about the photo booth photo as well. Like the photo of me and I know it's the photo booth once it's technically called, yeah. but it's the one of me and Winston just to like announce to the whole school that like your prom queen and mischief man were spotted together, taken spotted. <laughs> prom queen and mischief king taking oh so cheeky photo after the prom. Are these two the hottest new couple in town? Guess we'll never know. XOXO. So. <laughs> but our first prom went really well. You know what else goes really well? Being raised by a big sister who doesn't really feel as though she can stamp down the parent and roll and be like, no, do your homework. Don't get in at 2 a.m. in the morning after prom and don't fall asleep in a bench in the park. So we're kind of getting away with quite a lot right now. Yeah, this is, yeah, just get your butt home, babes. First prom, biggest success ever. How did we get prom queen? I have no idea, but we did. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know about our growing love interest in the comments below and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.